Hi everyone, hope you're all uh, staying safe out there and uh, have had a good week. I, I realise at this time in particular, uh, it can be a little tricky sometimes to, to keep track of which lessons you're going to and the timing of them and that sort of thing. Uh, so I just thought I would put this quick movie together to show you how you can use um, something like Google Calendar or iCal uh, to help you with your timetable. And it's quite a straightforward process to bring your school timetable into one of those tools. So I'm just going to go through that process for you now. And so the first thing you need to do is open up Google Calendar for starters. And uh, what we're going to do is down under other calendars, the left hand side there, I'm going to bring in a calendar, my timetable or your timetable from a URL. The next thing I want you to do is to go to our school website. It's probably the easiest place to find the parent portal. So at the bottom of the page is a link to the parent portal. And I will send you an email if you're not sure of your login to that uh, in a, a little while. But click on the parent portal. And it should bring up a screen a bit like this. And you enter your login details. I've kindly ask, asked uh, Will. If I can use his, and he has allowed me, so we're bringing, entering into Will's timetable here. Under details, uh, we go to attendance. And on the attendance screen, at the moment, everybody is uh, marked present because of our conditions. Uh, but anyway, what I want you to go down to is this address down here, this URL. Uh, and so that's the one that we are going to copy. And then go back to your calendar and underneath that other calendars again the plus symbol from url i click that and simply paste that url in there and click other calendar uh, add calendar that takes a couple of seconds and then we can go back to the calendar and it may not appear straight off the bat so you have to give it a, a few minutes to just process all of those that timetable and all of those periods into your into your time in your calendar um, but after a little while should see that they start to appear so there is will's timetable for the week it has the period times and and so on so i hope that's useful reasonably straightforward if you want to get tricky uh, you can also go to uh, calendar up the top and while our school we don't use this calendar in the parent portal down the bottom if you click that link, copy it, and same process as before, I'm going to add another calendar with the URL and do that. What that will bring in, none of our school events, but it does bring in, you can see up there, the days of our timetable. So they will be in a different color to your timetable because they're occupying a different calendar. I hope that's useful. Uh, and it may save you having to take a photo of your timetable in the future uh, and carry it around. If you have the Google app on your phone, uh, you can just um, obviously look at it through there. Year nines, so just bear in mind that you would have to redo that process. Uh, well, you will need to do it on Wednesday when our new options start for you. And each term, you would have to redo it to change the classes. And that's just a matter of deleting the calendar and uh, and uploading a new one. Year 10s, you would need to do that uh, halfway through the year. Anyway, I hope that's useful for you all. Have a great long weekend and look forward to seeing you all soon. Bye.